Hey everyone. So this is another quick update where, you know, usually when I, when I make these update videos, I, I try to stay a bit positive. I, I try to show that, you know, that I'm trying to fight through it, that it's not affecting me. But yeah, this video is going to be a bit different. I am just, I'm just all pessimistic out of nowhere. I'm making this video mostly to just complain. <laughs> but yeah, you know, they, they tell me that I need to be patient that the medicine that I, they are giving me takes a lot of months to start working. But it's, you know, it's it's just been hard recently. Just getting past one day is a struggle. And then the symptoms, for some reason, are just getting worse right now. It could be that the medicine still hasn't fully gone into effect. So it could be that. But it's just uh, the, the symptoms. The thing is, before... I only had like a few of the symptoms of the disease and then in these past weeks I started getting a lot so the problem is that everything is just painful you know like my feet hurt so if I walk it hurts and when I'm laying down on the bed you know if when my feet touch the bed it hurts and then my knees of course they, they've been hurting since April it still hasn't gone away and then my feet feel like they're cold it's it's called like rain knots disease or something like that and then my leg where i hurt my nerve it still hurts it, it, it looked like it was getting better and then suddenly the pain started coming back so yeah i don't know what's going on there my my butt now kind of hurts when i'm laying down and then my my elbows also hurt i don't know why maybe it's from the disease or from laying down so much and then this elbow has like a hole and then I, I've, I've started using gloves now because with the disease, it's very common for these holes to appear. They're called digital ulcers, apparently. And yeah, I have like I have like 10 of them on my hands. It's pretty bad. And then it sucks because every day I have to be treating the, the holes because if they get infected, apparently like it reaches the bone and they have to like cut off the bone. So like I have uh, a lot on my fingers and if I don't take care of them, if it if it infects the bone, they, they, they have to cut off your fingers. So yeah, just, this is why I have to be using gloves and everyday treating wounds. But yeah, it's just, it's annoying because I have so many wounds. I have like three on my feet. I have the one on my elbow. I have, or well, this elbow too. On my hands, I have like five wounds that I have to patch every day and put medicine on it. All of that takes like 30 minutes to do and you know, I can't I can't do it on my own So my mom has to do it and it, it makes me feel bad because I, I've basically been handicapped like all year I can barely use my hands. I just still can't bend over so I, I can't like put on my pants or or my socks or shoes when I exit the shower I I can't dry like my back or my feet. So yeah, yeah. basically, you know I, the whole year my mom has been like my nurse and I'm, I'm already starting to feel bad because I see that like her bones are starting to hurt from just whenever she has to do something for me. Like if I tell her I need to treat my wounds or like to put socks on, I think it's starting to have some like back pains because of it. Also, we are getting pretty desperate. You know, I I noticed that he's uh, like giving me a whole bunch of remedies and stuff, buying me like expensive uh, supplements and I don't know, vitamins, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know where she got this from, but apparently, like, drinking water that was in the sun for a couple hours from a blue bottle will help in something. <laughs> I mean, I, I never doubt her. I just let her do what she wants. And, you know, maybe some of this stuff does help a bit. And then the one thing I was, like, really worried about is that the disease started affecting my throat now. So whenever I swallow, like, my saliva or food or water, it just hurts a lot. So I've been having a lot of trouble with, with that, with eating and with drinking i'm kind of like scared now to swallow that's very normal for this disease swallowing problems but the thing is the medicine i'm taking right now is causing me to, to do a lot of produce a lot of saliva so yeah i mean i just i have to either spit it out or just be swallowing it which hurts it's it's been a struggle and then for the past month i just i have not really rested well because i wake up a lot in the night just to like go to the bathroom or something and every time I wake up in the night 
I'm always drooling and have a whole bunch of saliva like all over my cheek and on the pillow. So yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty tired right now. You know, I can't do anything without feeling pain. I have to treat all these wounds every day and every time I do, they hurt for like hours. So yeah, right right now I'm just uh, I'm not really in a good spot. Honestly, when I was using oxygen, it was actually easier because you know, at least my hands and feet were fine. I just have to walk around with the oxygen, but I could still do everything else and now you know i don't have to use oxygen and my lungs are better but like i still get tired easily my everything hurts you know swallowing hurts my hands hurt my elbows my knees my feet my butt i mean i i, I don't know when i'll get better i honestly thought i would get better soon i'm feeling a little bit pessimistic right now so i don't even know and then when you read stories of other people with this disease it's just all over the place you know some people healed some didn't some healed quickly for some it took months for some years it's like with every person with this disease something different happens but yeah you know i i hope that the next video i make is uh, an update saying that the symptoms are going away or that i feel a lot better that probably will be the next video because i mean i i got nothing else to say about my disease i feel like i've already said it all i'm pretty like low energy these days so I'm sure it'll feel great when the symptoms start going away and I start getting better. But yeah, I just know that I'm, just, you know, trying to fight through it right now. This month has been very hard, but I, I hope it, it'll get easier soon. But yeah, thanks for watching.